Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Nefertiti Gold and today is session two on my Learn With Me series with me learning how to use Ableton, but more specifically me learning how to use Ableton so that one day I can be a live looping Ableton performer. <laughs> Now, since the last session that I posted, I decided to dig deep into YouTube University to try to find as many videos as I can that would kind of help me with this journey. In the process of digging through YouTube and just trying to find helpful videos, I did come across that Rachel K. Collier actually released a whole course that is literally titled how to perform with Ableton Live. And of course, just like any of you guys, I was absolutely hesitant about yet again, purchasing something else within the realm of music and music production. Um, I'm really tired of buying things at this point in my life. I just feel like I'm going to be forever broke. But she does have a 30 day back money guarantee. And so I decided, ugh, let me just kind of pull the trigger and all else fails, I can just always ask for a refund. As you can see, proof right there, 98% complete. So that's proof that I really did watch as many videos as possible of anything. I'm pretty much done watching the course now. That doesn't mean that like, you know, like I'm totally ready to do exactly what she does. An explanation of my current setup and what I have going on right now. I have my synthesizer. I love this thing. Motor Electronics Argon 8. I love this wavetable synthesizer. I really, really do. But in this case, starting out, I'm using it as a MIDI controller. MIDI Swiss Fighter, as I mentioned. And I'll be using this to solely control effects wherever, whatever effects I decide to use. I have the Roland VT4 as a vocal processor. I have the Push as mentioned before. I have the Focusrite 2i2. And I have a Zoom recorder, but that is solely for the sake of recording the audio of this video for later. And I also have a headset microphone. It's pretty much hardwired. It's gonna connect directly into the VT4. Okay, this is a little semi-weird. All right, cool. Go ahead and plug this in. My check, my check. Oh yeah. So, um, all right, so playing the chords. I think, no, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, that's the chord. The click track is extremely loud. One, two, three, four. Okay, see, this is why we practice. Three, four. Thank you. 
pulling me through I'm always wondering if I'm good enough I'm tired of wondering if I'm good enough I wish I never ever met you All the shit you always put me through I'm always wondering if I'm good enough I'm tired of wondering if I'm good enough I wish I never ever met you Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for sitting in and learning with me during session two. Um, I'll be back next time and I'll bring in some more parts from the actual track and we're going to uh, continue learning how to perform with Ableton.